I found when this first started, this everything being reduced to one lane, that I would just sit here and get furious, just furious to myself. And there's nothing you can do. I, you know, my heart is racing. I'm, I'm breaking out in a sweat. And there's nothing I can do about it. So just calm down. Calm yourself down. And so I would, you know, think I had myself all calmed down. There's nothing you can do. Just take it easy. And then you look and your, your teeth are still gritting and my knuckles are still white. So you know you're not calmed down. I have to work on that. <laughs> I should get a book on tape for stress. And then I can sit here in traffic and, and try and de-stress. That would be my de-stress part of the day. They took 280 and reduced it to one lane for road repairs or whatever needed to be done, which I thought was just mean. They told 100,000 cars to drive that direction and then shut it down to one lane. They dropped it down to one lane for two blocks, tops, but it backs it up all the way to 94. Why didn't they wait until the bridge was up which is going to be relatively soon, before they started construction on 280. No, this is not a normal day. Um, the first few times I took this route, this backed up all the way to 94. And I always try and calculate, okay, why is this moving so quickly? If there's a, a reason for it, you know, you try and duplicate that the next night, and always it's like, oh, dang it. It was just that one shot. And so there you are in traffic for an hour and a half. Yeah, they, they took it way too far. It just seemed mean to me. 35W down to one lane. 280 down to one lane. Snelling Avenue reduced to one lane. Dale Street down to one lane. And it just seemed, it just seemed mean. I thought they took it too far. So then I was thinking it might be some sort of road rage experiment but Mindat says no. They're not trying to make people mad.